your boy Tunnel Vision. I got a couple minutes before I'm about to hop onto this highway. So I'm gonna talk real quick. Man, what I wanna talk today about is a whole saga that's kinda going on right now between Andy Ruiz and Eddie Hearns. You know, and what's going on with the whole fight in Saudi Arabia that's supposed to be happening. You know, it's not happening in Saudi Arabia, by the way. I 100% agree with Ruiz. And I believe him when he says it's not happening. It just made no sense from the beginning. Um, and if he doesn't want to be in Saudi Arabia, he won't be there anyway. You know what I'm saying? Due to the safety concerns and things of that nature, he can say, I'm not going there. And they, they, they can take that to court if they want to. Good luck. You're going to United States court, by the way. Those contracts are done in the United States. So good luck with that one. <laughs> going to court, American court and saying, hey, we want to force this guy to go do a bout in Saudi Arabia see how that pans out but anyways it made no sense to begin with you know what I mean like and when I say it made no sense it made no sense when it comes to Eddie Hearn and how he likes to operate Eddie Hearn's about making big splashes Eddie Hearn's about you know what I'm saying trying to you know just just you know drop that bomb that everybody's just like holy shit holy crap you know what I mean let's keep it sensitive you know what I mean look you know what I'm saying? Look what I've done. You know, look what I've been able to do. And setting up one of the biggest fights, you know, in boxing right now, in a stadium that's not even built. And this stadium's supposed to be built in three months. And then you keep changing configuration from 7,000 to 12,000 to 15,000. Like, how would you not know what the exact configuration for a place like that is right now? That, that is by itself makes absolutely no sense. How do you not know the configuration of that? It makes no sense whatsoever. You know what I mean? But what do it make sense is if he had it in a big, huge stadium, 60,000 person stadium. You know what I'm saying? The king of stadiums. When it comes, you know what I'm saying, to that in Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? King Abdullah Stadium. It's not even called a freaking stadium as big as it is. It's called the King Abdullah, Abdullah uh, Sports City. Because that's basically what is a freaking city. You not only have the stadium, but you have all these other sports complexes surrounding it as well. It's It's ridiculous. You know, people like um, the WWE, they've had events over there. You know what I mean? You have any kind of major uh, soccer events or for, you know, everybody else in the world besides America, football. That's where you hold it. It's monstrous. You have a lot of other places in Saudi Arabia as well that are already built, that are already standing, that you could have these types of events. You know, yet he wants to build a, this, this make-believe stadium and build it from scratch and get it done in three months. A greedy ass mother effer like that, he's gonna have them spend all those millions of dollars building a stadium when he could be like, nah, let's just have an existing stadium and let's just take all those tens of millions of dollars and just put into my pocket. That that that's what Eric Hearn's about, huh? He's a, he's about oh, let's just waste this money building this stadium from scratch instead of taking all those funds and just putting it into my pocket instead doesn't make any sense it makes as much sense as bob arum you know wanting to spend millions of dollars on a stadium on a on a on a, on a temporary stadium in the middle of las vegas instead of putting the event in a known place you know when you we know everything's going to happen as far as security concessions you know when it comes to you know the, the setup everything's all good ready to go you know, but no, but what he's going to want to do is spend all this millions of dollars building this temporary stadium for this fight of that magnitude. It's all bullsh. Okay. It's all BS. You know, that fight's not happening in, 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 in Saudi Arabia. I don't know what kind of farce this dude is doing. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but it's, it's ridiculous, man. At the end of the day, this man is looking crazy, man. He's looking absolutely crazy. And, um, I'm going to believe Andy Ruiz. I'm going to believe everything that Andy Ruiz says. Because on that side, they're usually consistent. When it comes to Dante Wilder and the things that he says, they stay consistent. When it comes to Andy Ruiz, same team. So I'm going to believe in that consistency. I'm not going to believe in the guys that flip-flop, go up and down, 
keep changing, you know, with the with the, as the wind blows. You know, we want it in New York. You know what I'm saying? We want to go back to the scene of the crime. No excuses. And then you make a whole interview to a whole interview making a whole boatload of excuses. Then you want it in the UK. Oh no, then now we're gonna have it in Saudi Arabia. It's they're all over the place because you know you want it in, at, at home for the fans, for the fans, the UK fans. You want to feel comfortable there. So you go from there to going to the most to this foreign ass country. You know what I mean? Where you're gonna pretty much have nobody from the UK over there, or very few, regardless of what anybody says. No one from America is going out there. No one from the UK is going out there. It's too sketchy, especially with a with a stadium that's not built and in a space like that. Hell no! With all the turmoil that's also going around the country, nah, man. That's that's this. Oh hell no, hell no. Hey, we're just gonna be this place where all these people from the UK and from America are supposed to be. Nah, man, we, eh, it, it makes it makes absolutely, absolutely makes no sense. So, um, fight not happening over there, homies. You know what I mean? And I'm not sure exactly what Eddie Hearn's gonna say and what his explanation is gonna be, but they looking crazy out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? The place that fight would be if they were holding it in the UK would be at King Abdullah Stadium. That place is immaculate. That place is beautiful. That place looks incredible. Go online, check out some pictures of that place. Go online, check out videos of that place. You know what I'm saying? These people have all these billions, trillions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? They didn't just... <laughs> All of a sudden decide, hey, we're going to build a structure now. Oh, now that we want boxing here, we're going to now build a structure. Now, nah, they have events over there. They have sports that they love. And they have spaces that are already built for places, you know, for, for events like that. And that's what Eddie Hearn will be trying to do. He'll be trying to put it into a space like that. Um, everything they're yapping right now, everything that they're saying, it's all BS. They're all talking out their tails. And... Um, I believe Andy Ruiz when he says that, you know what, yo, they're in control. You know what I mean? Because, you know, Eddie Hearn is out here yapping. He's out here trying to say all the things that he's trying to say. But then you're in full control. Ruiz has no say. But you're taking all these months to get this fight done. If you're in full control, it would not be taking all these months to get that fight done. That fight would be done already. But it's not done. You know what I mean? They're clearly going back and forth. Andy Ruiz is going to get substantially more money than that $9 million that they're talking about. That's number one. And number two, you know what I mean? It's not going to be in Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? And if they want to take him to court, by all means, take him to court. That's, that's not if everybody making this assumption that, like, all of a sudden, that's an easy, you know, case to win or something like that. With them, them trying to put in Saudi Arabia, you're not winning that. I can tell you that right now. That's not happening. That's number one. Number two, okay. You know, supposedly, you know, your quote, what you got to yeah, show what, some, what kind of damages you've lost, you know, certain funds, certain money. Well, you know what, you know, what did you lose? Even if you were trying to set up somewhere else, straight up, whatever money they're being offered and the, and, uh, the finances that they're throwing out there, you can get those finances off a, a, a U.S. pay-per-view. You do a, a fight, you know, that fight on pay-per-view in the United States, you're making those the same exact funds. You're making the same exact funds when it comes to the amount of money that the Saudi Ravens are giving out. That went from 80 something million. That shit dropped down to 40 million real quick. It went down to 40 million to now it's like, what, 50 million plus or something like that. You know what I mean? So the amount of money that they're talking about and they're putting out there and the amount of money that's actually is being um, made available. There's a question on that, too. You know what I mean? And so if you're talking 40, 50 million dollars. <laughs> Heyman and them can put that money up. You know what I mean? Well, like, we'll put up $50 million. We can put that on, what's it called, on Fox Pay-Per-View. We can put that on Fox Pay-Per-View. We're going to have a, what? We're going to have a 20 plus million dollar gate. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to sell a million pay-per-views. You know what I mean? Not to mention all the sponsors that would be, what's going involved in that particular event. All the bars, what they got to pay for those events. Closed caption seats. All the UK fans that are going to come down here with their up, up, absorbent ticket prices, if they made all that money off the UK fans, off him fighting, you know, a Ruiz who they thought had no chance, or Miller, you know, who they also thought it was, had no chance, what do you think they're going to make when it comes to, oh man, I almost crashed into somebody, what do you think they're going to make off the fight now? 
You know what I'm saying? Especially with all the Mexican support that this man's gonna have now. <sighs> man, what do you go to now? A million Twitter fo- Twitter or Instagram followers? From what? From a few, you know, from a few thousand, a few hundred thousand? He's on a whole different level right now, and this fight's on a whole different level. And believe it or not, they have that fight in the in the in, the, in Saudi Arabia. They're losing money on that fight. You know, people are, are, are too enameled with the number that they're throwing out. This is a fight where when everything all everything together is put, you know, is put into the pot, they're making over a hundred million dollars off this fight. Easy, easy. And you don't got to build no new stadiums in order to do it. You know, and they can be in a place where people can actually have fun. People can drink. They can smoke if they want to. You know, women can actually come and have fun and drive their own cars and, you know what I mean? And just wear what they want to wear and just, and, and have fun and enjoy themselves as well. You know, so in a much safer place, you know? So, you know, and America also has its own issues and problems. I'm not trying to say America's perfect or anything like that, you know, but as an American, if I had to go to a place, I'd rather go to a fight over here than have to travel down over there. It's sketchy right now over there. All the, the stuff that's happening around over there and other political things that's going on that pertain to that place that I won't even speak on to this, into this video, the fact that he's not even holding that place is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So I don't see it happening over there. Um, but if it was to happen over there, it would be in King Abdullah Stadium, man. Sports city, King Abdullah Sports City. That's where it would happen. There's no other place that you put an event like that if you're going over there. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to the UK and you can have a uh, an event and um, Wembley's open, you go to Wembley. Period. You know what I'm saying? You come into the United States, you do an event. You know, you have a bunch of places that we can do it out here. You know what I mean? But if you're in the East Coast, Madison Square is a, is the mecca. But the Barclays is beast now too, though. If the Barclays wasn't there, I'd be like, yo, Madison Square Garden. But I like the Barclays better. Atmosphere is way better. Way better. But, you know, that's there basically is is theirs is the that's the Wembley of the UK. I mean, what's the, the Wembley of Saudi Arabia? It's King Abdullah Stadium. And that's where the fight would be happening if it was over there. But it's not happening over there. I believe Andy Ruiz. And Ruiz is gonna get he's gonna get substantially paid. You know what I mean? And I just can't wait for all the excuses that Eddie Hearn's going to have, you know, to explain all this effery, I just all this fuckery, you know, but it is what it is. You know, we'll see what's up as time goes on in the next couple of weeks. But y'all have fun. Be safe. See you on the next one.